Hi guys, welcome back to Auburn Mechanics. In today's video we are going to show you how to fix a common problem on Mercedes ML. This one is the first generation from 98 all the way until 2005. As you can see we are going to show you how to fix the door lock on the front left door. If you try to lock the car, okay, you can see how it's keeping and it doesn't lock it. And that's the door actuator right here. So stay with us to see how we are going to do that and don't forget to subscribe, we upload a new video every day. Okay, first thing that you need to do with a flathead screwdriver, you need to pry that cap open. Oops, without breaking it, of course. <laughs> the blooper section. And now right here you have two screws with a few screwdriver that you need to remove. One on the bottom and one on the top, right here. You need to remove both of them. And as you can see, that's another common problem on Mercedes ML. Oh, they made the door panels pretty cheap. It's car like a cartoon, like a cardboard. So, as you can see, all the clips fell apart on this one. And we'll have a video also on our channel. Check it in the playlist or in the description. You'll find it below. How to fix those uh, door clips, the door panel clips, so it can work again like new. Okay, next thing that we need to do, we need to remove the, uh, that plastic that covers the, the, uh, the side view mirror. So you just pull it out, it has two clips, one right here and one it goes down in an angle. And now you can just go ahead and pull the door panel up. Okay, it goes up and then you need to come out of here and come out. Okay guys, next you need to remove the cable, that's for the door handle and you need to pull like that to the back on the side and then pull it out of the hole. And now let me show you where all, all the clips are because ours are broken. There is one right here, you can see one missing, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So when you remove the door panel, it will be easy to locate them and actually remove them. So you see there is one right here, there. And then you have in the bottom right there, in the corner, one there. And then under the plastic right here, in the corner, and two more. And those are, that's what they look like, but ours are broken. And next thing that we need to do in order to remove the door actuator, which is located right here, we need to remove the door handle. And as you can see, the cable goes through the airbag. So what we need to do now, we need to remove the side airbag. So for that purpose, you need to disconnect the battery and let the car stay for 15 to 30 minutes before starting to work on it. And now, in order to remove the side airbag, there is two screws, as you can see right here, that we can remove, and there is two rivets on the bottom. So we need to use a drill to drill those out and replace them with bolts later. The top two screws there with the start looking T30 bit you can use a socket over just a bit and remove these two. Make sure that you touch something metal so you can unload the electricity from your body because you're working around the airbags. So always be careful around the airbags because they might go off, stay out of the way on the side a little bit. Okay guys, we already uh, removed one of the rivets right here and we're going to demonstrate on the second one so you know what to do. Get a big uh, drill bit, probably about the size of the rivet head and go right dead in the center and just... Okay, it should look something like that as you can see right here. You can see the stem of the rivet. And now when you get the screwdriver, you apply a little bit of pressure. Just to make sure that you don't go on the cables. And a little bit more. Okay, now it's ready. All we gotta do now is just pry it out. Okay, like that. And now you need to be careful and remove the airbag from the top. And I'll just get a zip tie and tie it there, you don't even need to remove the wire, just be careful with it. Now right here on the side of the door, okay let me get a better angle so you know where we are. We have that plastic cap that we need to remove and those usually they tend to break when you remove them. Okay and you just pull it out of there when you start it, like that. Because right there there is one, one bolt that we will need to be removing. 
All right, guys, what we need to do next, there is one more plastic cap right here. We need to remove this one. And now we need a four millimeter Allen wrench. Okay, this is the one that we're talking about. And it needs to be pretty long. It needs to be the whole length of the dough. In our case, we didn't have one. It's on a, it's on Sunday. We cannot find uh, our parts store open. So we need to go right here. So we made one, we welded it. And there is one Allen bolt, Allen wrench bolt that you need to uh, unscrew, like going counterclockwise. And then on the other side with the key in, you turn to the right and you need to wiggle it back and forth. And it's going to come out of there. Okay, the whole cylinder lock is going to come out of there. Okay, and now it should come out of there. Just move it a little bit. Don't put too much pressure. Just be gentle with it. And this is the cylinder lock right here. As you can see, that's where the bolt goes. Right here, the one with the Allen wrench that we took off. And you can see it on this side as well, right here. Okay, now with the T30 again. We need to remove two, two bolts, one right here and one right there. And that way we will be able to remove the whole door handle pretty soon. And when you go right here through the hole, there is one more with Allen wrench and this one is Allen 4 again. You need to just get it loose, it doesn't come all the way out. You just get it loose, to, it goes to a certain spot and now you should be able to go ahead and remove the door handle. What you do, you just pull to the back and pull out the front end and then the whole thing comes out like that. Now, in order to remove the door actuator right here, we need to remove the other rail is for the, for the uh, glass going up and down on the left side. So what do we need to do? We have two rivets right here and two on the bottom and we need to drill all four of them. Okay, we removed, we drilled all four rivets, two on the bottom and two on the top, and now just need to get them loose with the screwdriver, apply a little bit of pressure. Okay, and now we can just, we got all four of them out, and now we just move the rail out of the way. It comes out of there. Okay, so those are the rivets, and now we need to remove them before you put it back together later and you need to get the rivet, rivet gun and use the same size rivets as well. Okay, next thing we need to remove the wire for the actuator right there. You need to pull one clip on the side. Okay, this one right here, you pull it up and you pull the wire out of it. And now you should be able to remove it. You will come out of there with the, with the cable. It's a little bit of a tight fit, it goes in a certain angle. Okay, right there. Okay guys, so this is the whole deal right here. They sell them brand new on eBay for $203. And I'll just, just install it again the same way we took it apart, guys. You install this one and after that you need to use the rivet gun for the window rail and for the airbag as well. Thank you guys for watching us. Don't forget to subscribe us and give us a like. We upload about a new video every day.